up, I Brody died. Think so much, I wanna crash. About all the nights I cried. Why they steady telling lies? Say it up your. I'm gonna ask you this, but. Let's do it. It's only because how how much does it piss you off the narrative, right? Like we've seen on social media, they're doing the whole like he unfollowed Gunna bullshit. Like, how do you feel about that? I don't know if it's true or not, but it ain't. I don't feel no type of way for real. It was just me seeing us because I had been seeing it, but I didn't care. To, I don't really respond to social media shit. But it was like me seeing a certain a specific headline, like you worded away, like I'm trend following and knowing that's not me. That's the only. Real reason I address the situation, but like, I don't really. Yeah. Know. Yeah, you tend to stay out of all drama. Yeah, I don't really that. get into none of that, man. I'm I'm my fault, 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 my fault. Real reason I address the situation, but like, I don't really. Yeah. Know. Yeah, you tend to stay out of all drama. Yeah, I'm I don't really that. get into none of that, man. I'm, I'm falling too. <laughs> yeah, you're stupid. What? Well, Yo, you're fucking. No, you didn't. My, did you? Check my following. Bro. I didn't follow him in the first place. Check I'm my following. Right okay, now. but how do we know you followed him in the first place, bro? Oh, I unfollow. Is it a real? Is it a real thing though? Like people just like they're not fucking with people who you know have been in trials and shit like that, or? Well, would you? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. Right? It's, his yeah. nickname is Bradley Plea Deal Martin. Okay, you know, before, <laughs> hey, before anything not. happens here, motherfucker, bro. I, motherfucker, I went to the fucking court system to keep my gym open. Hey, what does it have to bitch? do? Yeah, for court I, system. I took, I took, bro, I went I to the court for way worse than that. So bro, I don't like even want to hear your bullshit. Like what, bitch? Mm -hmm. I went fucking 15 times. I did fucking 90 and a 65. Oh, okay, yeah. 90 and a 65. fucking sped, you pussy. I think I, I did like 130 pandemic, before. You. What are you whipping these days? Fuck it. Uh, I, I just got a new, I got a new Cullinan. Damn. Yeah, that's How many cars shit. you got? 10. <laughs> 10? What's it, 10 okay. uh, which one do you drive the most? Yeah, what's your daily? The Cullinan. I don't drive though. You just sit. You sit in the. In the, in the damn, okay. Do you ever take anything out just for fun? Like I'm gonna take this for a spin. Yeah, it'll be like if I ain't drove this car in a minute. Like damn, I forgot how this bitch ride. And then, do you let your boys take the cars out or no? I used to. They be fucking my shit up. Yeah, <laughs> always, bro. <probably. laughs> I used to let them drive. They wore that out. Yes. Can you, can you tell us? The, can you tell us the collection? I got an i8. I got a, a Corvette. I got a Durango, I got a BMW X6, I got a BMW X7, I got a Tesla, I got, I got the color, now I got a bulletproof truck in Chicago. Only right. I got a G-Wagon, a Maybach. God Do you damn, have the Maybach bro. truck or the sedan? I got the Only sedan. Right, got Sedan's dope. Chicago, yeah. You sit in the back in that, right? Yeah. Because he don't drive. Those are fucking so you dope, always bro. Um, How much is all those fucking cars, man? Probably in total, I probably paid like two, probably close to two. I don't really know. I'm saying like when I bought them, I know. What was your? What was I your... paid cash for my cars. I, I I leased my first car, then I switched it over to a finance just for my credit. But what was anything your... else I bought after that, I paid cash. What was your first big purchase? Wow, bro, that you made? that's crazy, bro. My first big purchase. I leased the crib out in uh, Calabasas it, for like a hundred and twenty thousand. Nice. I like, noticed something with Chicago rappers, like it's all. Anytime they get to that success, everyone leaves Chicago, which is kind of rare too. Because if it's like Florida or New York, they always like to stay there. Why do you think that is? That because like you you did it, Dirk right. did it, uh, Kanye, pretty much everybody. Man, we were rapping and you stand there right. You a goofy, no cap. Definitely if you a if you a street nigga too, like you a street nigga before the rap. You a goofy if you standing right, like living the right, bro. It's pointless. Chicago, man, I ain't gonna lie, it's different than them other cities, man. You could Denver, probably move Denver, around Florida. and Florida. still be okay. Right, for fucking into it with you, they ain't gonna never forget that. You ain't got no you know? for Is that is it more like that's the no only way to kind of? No focus on rap and leave the street. And then I'm saying they could go work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They could work both ways. Like you can get wrapped up in in the wrong shit, or the wrong shit could catch up to you. So that's, mm. That ain't no city you won't just be staying in. Do you think uh, Chief Keef Sosa is the goat? <laughs> I love these. Questions. I love these. Questions. I think he won the goats for sure. I love Sosa. He, is he an inspiration. He for influenced you? the world. I know he was an inspiration for me. Yeah, I mean, personally, go down that road. Personally, inspiration. Yeah. To this day, bro. So I was supposed to drop the album in December. Still ain't get it. What's going on? Yeah, I don't know if What's you ever saw on? this, but he lived in um, Hinsdale. 
and they used to take the ATVs out. Mm-hmm. It, bro, it's like the bougiest neighborhood, and every day, him and <laughs> he would take video. the ATVs out. Have you seen that? Yeah. And they kicked him out of the neighborhood and moved to LA. Damn. Yeah. You say what? What? What neighborhood? Hinsdale. Hinsdale I've never Central. Heard of that. Yeah. But uh, no, yeah, I love him. <laughs> yeah, I love him. So what? What else are you working <laughs> on right now? I got the uh, I got a project with me and me and Southside, produced by Southside 808 Mafia. Oh shit. His camp. No, that's really it. Though so I'll, I'll be working at, on a few projects at once, but that's the one that I'm focused on. And I'm curious, drop. do you hand select? Like, if you listen to a track, do you say, yo, I need so-and-so on this track? Hell yeah. You can hear it, though. Yeah. Like, right. damn, this nigga sound cold on here. Do you have anybody that you, yeah, like, just know, you. that you, yeah. like, your favorite guy to collab with? Or anybody you just love working with? Uh, I got a good chemistry with TJ, of course. Yeah. And I always end up making some shit with dirt. Yeah. What about, I was listening to this too, because you had a relationship with Juice World too. Because mm-hmm. I know you guys did Flex together. Mm-hmm. What was that relationship like? That was my dog. I feel like as far as sound, we didn't make a lot of music, but as far as our sound, they complement each other well. Like we would have went no, up no, like cop, that through time. That so good, bro. Oh, that flex, mm-hmm. that um, have you worked cop. with anyone specifically that's like, motivated you or influenced you to, to want to be better? Not that obviously you motivate yourself, but anyone that's came in, you know, to your circle or in a song with you, that you were like, oh, I really like what this person did. Like anything that you were like, damn, I want to step my shit up or that motivated you to be better that you've worked with in this industry. Juice World was that person that made me feel like, like, yeah, I want to take this shit far. Cause when he was fucking with me, I was an upcoming artist. I'm finna drop my first album, shit like that. And I'm seeing what he was doing early in his career. Like, yeah. Going on statewide tours, world tours, he was just going <laughs> crazy, going taking crazy. fucking jets here. Well, I'm just feeling like, damn, I want to be at this level one day. And as far as like seeing somebody process those crazy to me, it was like being in the Stuart Future one time. Oh yeah, so like, he, like Metro Boomin said the exact same thing, bro. He write the shit in his head. Yeah, and it's like he probably just nod his head to the beat for a little minute. Every rapper we've ever had on the show always pays respect <laughs> to the nah. future. Yeah, he's he's knocking right. out that verse in probably like 10 minutes. So is that intimidating? Yeah, he just I got to you, chat. I don't give it a buck. Future is up there with Drake, bro. Like, no cap. Future is up there with Drake. Like, I don't give it a buck. I don't give it a buck. Those and, like, fucking runs it like that, and you're more of a, like, calculated kind of, like, writer? No, I'm going to stick to my process, yeah. but I'm going to probably try to take notes and... And I'm I'm gonna try new shit. Like lately, I've been trying to get to the m- microphone and freestyle as opposed to like typing in my phone all day. But like <clears throat> that don't really like intimidate because I know slow and steady can win the race yeah. sometimes. How does a how does a producer get your attention? Like, you know what I mean? Like you must get tons of beats all the time. How do you like? How does like an upcoming producer get your attention? Minutes? You're different, boss. I ain't gonna. I, I'm. I'm always open to listening to everybody. Like, like I check my DMs and shit. Like, if somebody can run up on me right now and say, "Hey, I make beats. Can I send you a pack?" I'm gonna tell them, "Yeah." Like, uh, I'm not really bull. We need more, like, bro. Like, Polo is the part, bro. We need more people like Polo, bro. Cause some of these other niggas be bougie as hell. Yo. Niggas don't. Like you walk up to some motherfucking person, they try to tell his career, like, oh, I try to grab him, thinking like he on some fan shit, but the whole time he trying to, he trying to promote his, promote his shit, get his life right, but niggas be on some other shit, cause they life already hot, like how, like, damn, <laughs> they life already good, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> no cap though. End up the reading DMs too, bro, like, pull up a real one, bro. Like, no cap. Some people don't do the shit he do. Put you to that, like, I'll, I'll hit anybody out, cause you never know when you, yeah. Hit a one, you know? How quickly do you like fly through beats? Like if you open a pack, like how how many seconds is it to like next? Probably like five to 10. Yeah. <laughs> You'll know right it's away. No I'm gonna know right away. I'll get like in the session real, with a producer and piss them off. Cause I'm <laughs> steady <laughs> next, trash, next, trash, trash, trash. next. And it ain't even that the like, shit weak. It just don't register crazy. to me. Yeah. You ever done any producing yourself? Yeah, or like do you do any that. part in that? I try, I get look little beats in my head all the time. I know that's like some telling me to really start doing this shit, but I, I'm I'm I never got around to it yet. I wanted to ask you about Smooth Criminal, the remix you did. 
Mm-hmm. What was there anything more behind that? Like you, because you did do pretty much a remix to a Michael Jackson song. Mm. So was that like something you always wanted to do, or is he a huge inspiration for you? No, it, it wasn't really like that. I fuck with Mike, you know, mm-hmm. like coming up, uh, my the older generation of uh, my family just always put you up on his songs and shit. Yeah. But I was really like riding on my way to the studio and I was watching an interview of his. I don't remember what it was about, but I was just watching an interview of his. I'm like, it'd be crazy if I just remix a Michael Jackson song. Yeah, it's a And I came in the studio on one, so <laughs> I was turned. Have you ever uh, gone on the studio, like pretty on one and just had a crazy session and been like, yo, that was a complete waste of time? Oh, oh you saying like fucked up? <laughs> you were too sauced in there, like. I ain't gonna lie, I did that a lot of times. I'm listening to this shit like, man, what the fuck? Is that, is that <laughs> Sounds a, fire in the moment. Is that a frustrating <laughs> thing, or do you just kind of laugh it off and be like, yo, next time I gotta Sometimes take Sometimes it's music. frustrating because I take the music serious. So yeah. I'm like, damn, I just spent 12 hours in that bitch for nothing. Sometimes I'm gonna be pissed off. Yeah, that's funny. How, how has, how has like, just success overall, has it, has it affected you? Would you say, like, obviously, it's a great thing, right? You have it. Have you dealt with any moments like of, you know, anxiety or any moments where you're like worried about maintaining it or keeping it or going further? I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit. Are you like as a human, like 100 percent happy all the time? Do you ever deal with like, fuck, man, it's not enough or so I wish it was something else? Yeah. Hell yeah. I deal with anxiety a lot. Just feel me just going through the motions of being a rapper all together. Like A lot of times I'd be feeling like too hard on myself though like yeah i know i'm I, I know all in all i'm a great artist i'm good at what i do but sometimes just being too wrapped up in the what ifs or if i'm doing that as well as i'm known for doing like sometimes i, I get so wrapped up in that and you know the self-doubts and etc but i always pull myself out of that shit. how do you how do you pull yourself out of yeah. that in those moments just being consistent and working that's that's the only thing. Like I'm the type of person if I don't work, I'm gonna be depressed. Like so, just being consistent and working until I find my groove again. No. Have you yeah. had any had any times no. when like you yeah. were you yeah. were like no, you were like finding yourself that. getting low and you're like fuck, I need to fix this? Any specific moments motivation. in your career, or your life? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, even more so like recently. Like uh, sometimes I need to like move around or like, travel. Yeah, yeah, like travel see some different shit, get in a different space. Cause I'll be, I, I can be at home in LA for damn near 30 days, two weeks. And it's like, I'm just repeating the same schedule the every same day, motion, repeating yeah. the same cycle. And sometimes that'll make me crash. I think I read something yeah. recently that you talked about, you went to Egypt mm-hmm. and you're talking about how the, just the different cultures shock you mm-hmm. how what's what's different when you like travel or you perform internationally as opposed to and yeah and how's how is egypt egypt i had went out there for my b-day that shit was fun that shit was what'd fun. you guys do like see the pyramids and shit yeah we went inside we we went inside one went up to the top of that bitch sink to like a tomb or some shit we went to the Damn. museum <laughs> that's lit he was riding camels and shit all type of shit <laughs> you like seeing like different cultures and stuff Hell yeah, like I I'm, I'm make it like every year I go and travel out the country for my meeting. What's, what's your favorite place to go to outside of the U.S. so far? Cabo. Hey Sydney, Cabo. do you have a minute to catch up today? Yeah, I've got uh, 51.46 seconds right after. <laughs> I knew you were going to say like London, London or something, because he always in London, Paris, like no cow, like... <laughs> No, like that's folks second home or something. <laughs> 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 yeah, Steve would have loved that. <laughs> no, we spent a lot of time there. Holy shit! Okay. What yeah, do you no, like about it? Time. Just because it's like it's the part vibe. Of- yeah, the vibe just all together from the moment I touched down till I left. I was just having fun. I was feeling myself. I was, I was. That's when I first start really fucking with the shrooms too. So I was feeling good. <laughs> Oh, here yes. we go. Jesus. <laughs> no, I was going to get to that. that. That's why I was asking the questions earlier. motherfuckers going to go 30 minutes about shrooms now. Yo, Dude. shut the fuck up, bro. Relax. At Sorry, least have them one time. You, you should okay. just have them one time. I should I, I should bring them every time. How, when did you start taking them? Uh, that, that, that year. Um, why did you start taking them? Just wanting to do something different. Like, I came up in the pill era. So everybody do that shit. And fuck that. Some that's uh, that's something that I was falling back off of and hadn't done in so long. I'm like, damn. 
my my trainer actually, yes. Danny, he was telling me like, man, that shit, it help you tap into a different space in your mind. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna try it. So has it helped you? Hell yeah. Like as far as getting clarity for certain shit or just just feeling good about myself. Do, yeah. do you do microdosing or you take like large doses? No, I microdose. So it's been times I took large doses. I was <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. So you you done you you follow any specific protocol like like a month on a month off like what was your what was your regimen when you did that? Or were you just kind of taking you it? Just fucking easy. Yeah, man. it was more so me taking it, but it but at, like. Like you say, probably I'll take a month or two months off before I do it again. Yeah. But when I do, I'll probably go for like that month. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. So you say overall it just helps you just like be more clear or be more like level headed or what? Like yeah, more, more level headed. Even being being creative sometimes. Like I done made some some hard ass shit off of assumes. Cause it's like everything gonna do something different. Like if I make a song just drunk. I might be a little bit more aggressive. If I'm making a strong <laughs> yeah. song off the shrooms, I'm going to really try to be so creative, though. Yeah. It's it's all different feelings. I love it. I don't want to get too too deep, but I am curious, like, with what goes on now with everybody outside, you see crazy shit. Obviously, with what happened with Juice, did that change the way that you move or you go about things? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. yeah. I, I, know, I know for a fact I, I haven't popped a per Percocet since since that situation with him, you know, th just making me want to fall back off doing a lot of shit that I feel like wasn't really serving me no purpose. Yeah. You know, because you get so trapped into just wanting to feel feel I'm something super, like you man, be out of bad, touch man. with reality with that shit. Crazy. Yeah. I feel like that's the thing is just certain rappers feel like they need to have some shit to perform or do the things they do. Mm-hmm. But then you learn if you can do it without it, then you can still like shrooms, great alternative. Like, yeah, or absolutely. maybe you, you know, you don't even need that the yeah. Adderall. I mean, you can Hit stop the Adderall, no. you can take more shrooms, dude. <laughs> nah, because then I don't, you don't fall asleep on that like, shit. I that's the problem. Shit like that. You don't, don't fall asleep, asleep on but you get shit done. You've like, <laughs> had some bangers. I know fucking rap star Martin and Gina, one of those was done with a 10, 30 milligram something. No, no, I was so a little salmon bomber. Just smoke some weed. Have you tried any other psychedelics? Mm mm. No, like acid. Hell. What? No, I'm no too that's scary. next level. Hey, yeah, really too scared of that. That's intense, bro. Like, you done acid, bro? I haven't done acid yet. No, but it's a psychedelic. Just I'll, yeah, I would do that at I've a done show. I've done ayahuasca, I'd do that at a polar crazy. G show. You said, huh? I've done ayahuasca. Have you heard What's of that? that? You ever heard of that? Mm -mm. It's another plant medicine, but it's like the craziest version of uh So I'm saying how it makes you feel. Oh, man. Imagine like a, a lot of mushrooms, mm -hmm. but a lot more intense. Oh, yeah, I'm scared yeah. of that. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, that's the best way I can describe it if you <laughs> had any to, to judge it from. What What are some of your favorite things to do outside of rap? Like, do you have anything, any hobbies you do outside of I like to work out. I see them. I like, yeah, I, I like to work out. Today was my first day working out again in like 15 days. I, I felt good as fuck after I worked out. I like to uh, play basketball. I hoop a lot. I play the video game, 2K. I've been on the Nintendo Switch a lot lately. What are you what, playing what on that? Mario Kart. Yeah. Oh, well, that's <laughs> are you hooping with your boys? Hell yeah. Do they kind of like give you, like let you win type vibes? Because it looks like Drake. Like when we watch Drake, like it looks like no one's playing D on him. <laughs> no, I ain't going to lie. We get all, physical. We'll D your ass up if you want to take it. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, I, no, I ain't gonna lie though. Uh, our games be pretty competitive. Yeah. How great, and I miss these. How great was the D Rose Thibodeau days? Man, I watch every game. His MVP year is like the most slept on, hardest year of an NBA player that didn't get respect. Mm. This made me watch. I watched a mixtape today on YouTube just of D Rose because we were doing this interview. <laughs> yeah, no, I fuck with Rose. That shit was crazy. What, bro? No, the, Have no, you ever funny. watched Derrick Rose's I've seen, MVP I've year? Seen, I've seen the highlights. It sure. doesn't get the love it deserves straight nah. up. No, nah, I think he. I think a, a lot of people fuck with Rose, though. Gone too soon, for sure, the injury, man. What's good? Are you still, like, watching the Bulls gone this year? Soon, even though. Crazy. So, so. <laughs> yeah. Zach Levine, hey, you, got, you got a couple so bars on that. Not right, Yeah. Man. The Bulls, I'm going to always support them, though. Even if, like, they was the worst in the East, I'm going to still support them. Where else have you traveled to that's, like, one of your favorites? Egypt, anywhere else crazy? I've been I've been to Dubai. Dubai's dope. We were there recently. <laughs> yeah, bro. I've been to. Uh, I just recently went to Turks for my B day. How's Turks? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's you nice as hell. I'm just trying to think about some other shit that I like. 
I like Dubai. I went on a tour in Europe though, but I ain't really like that shit. Bro. No. Why? I don't know. It was just was it probably summer? too consistent. Like we was doing shows every day. I didn't really get a chance to sleep. I ain't really like that shit. Yeah. I like London though. I like Paris too. I, I never been there. You been there? I knew it, gang. Like that's both like second home. Like no cop, bro. Like, every time you look up here in Paris or London, like no cop, bro. I knew he was gonna say Paris or London. I've been to London. Yeah. Well, Paris. what do you think? London's cool. <clears throat> Overrated. I, I like more like personally like the warm parts of like Paris was kind of dirty to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being honest. I gotta be honest. I fucking love Dubai. I love Dubai. Dubai. I fucking love Dubai, is, Dubai bro. Yeah, yeah, Dubai is amazing. So beautiful. Uh, who, who's is there any artist out there you've yet to work with you really wanna do a project with or like I even future maybe? See that? No, I wouldn't say I I want to do a project with them. Someone you haven't like, like you could just love to do a track with. Um, that happened. Cause I'm trying to think, who the fuck having a Savage probably yeah. Twenty One Savage. He don't. He wasn't the only artist I haven't made a song with. Oh, that's, he didn't. One of the only top. Artists. Have you met Drake? Him? Of course, I ain't make shit with him. Yeah, That'll happen, I think. Soon, <laughs> yeah. That was Drake back. and Polo coming real soon. Heard it here first. Be there. Watch this. I give it like a year or two. The guy next to you could maybe make that happen. That He's from nice Toronto. Song. I'm okay. trying to think. Did I even ever make some shit with Trippy? Like I made some shit with him, but like, did it ever come out? I don't know. When you see, like, obviously there's a lot of big albums. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, Me and him got too. that song with oh, Dirt. You and Trippy? Yeah. No, just hasn't come out? No, it did. Um, When you see these guys, other, like, big albums coming out, DJ does that make you, like, get DJ you excited? Rap, and you're like, but... fuck, I gotta, <laughs> yeah, the pressure's on me now? <laughs> no. I don't really be thinking way. about none Anybody of that. else? I be trying to zone in on when I'm dropping. I've been ready. Did Polo and Cheap keep doing something? The whole year, I know my. I mean, this whole time, I know my fans be on me. I don't even be wanting to be on Instagram because I know all they gonna ask me for is my album. No, so I'm, I'll be zoned in. You, you talked. You talked earlier about uh, going to, to. I think you were Paris Fashion Week. You went to yeah. Fashion Week. How, like, are you are you big into fashion? Is it like a thing that you like are passionate about outside of music? Yeah, it's something I'm truly trying to, like do more outside like if if it's any lane that i'll take outside of music where if i was to stop rapping something that i'd be into it'd be fashion yeah so i'm really trying to like feel shit out yeah. get an understanding of how shit work that was really the reason i went any inspirations specifically that you really like look up to or like or uh i can't touch on anything specifically okay. but like as a whole though i'm in i'm into the whole fashion culture yeah uh. Oh, I saw one of your interviews. You say you do like morning like affirmations and stuff like that. What, what's kind of stuff that you do to keep your head clear? Yeah, the the the, the, uh, the affirmations give me a lot of clarity. Uh, sometimes I just like if I do end up driving, like I drive a short distance, like somewhere I'm going there and back, just to get just to clear my head. I sometimes. love driving, clear my head when I drive. But that's that's pretty much. I'm pretty. Uh, pretty you don't meditate nothing like that. that? Yeah. Thought maybe the mushrooms that have you meditate? <laughs> no, I, I meditated before though. Yeah, did it help or? Yeah, it do, but that shit's so hard to be focused. Like, you mean, <laughs> well, what? You just gotta really sit there and like and tone do, everything and just, out. Yeah, <coughs> focus on breathing and just chill. But it's hard. I think you could probably want to come back to what you're doing. No yeah. Doubt. Well, yeah. it's just like I don't, I can't, because I feel like meditating. You' supposed to clear your mind completely, that's and that's hard, hard for me. Yeah. What do you think's your most memorable. I, 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 that, that's, I meditated like two times. No cap. Shit ain't work. It worked once, but it ain't worked the other time though. I ain't gonna lie to you. You don't meditate nothing like that? that. Yeah. Like maybe the <laughs> mushrooms that have you meditate? No, I, I meditated before though. Yeah. Did it help or? Yeah, it do, but that shit's so hard to be focused. Like, you, yeah, well, what? you just gotta really sit there and like and tone do, everything and just, out. Yeah. <laughs> Focus on breathing and just chill. But it's hard. I think you could probably want to come back to what you're doing. Yeah. Well, it's just like I don't. I can't. Cause I feel like meditating. You supposed oh, to clear your mind completely. I don't that's hard. Too late. I ain't yeah. lie to you. What do you think's your most memorable show you've ever performed at? I saw you brought out. Is it, I'm sorry. Is it on a where your niece does the intro? That's my little sister. Or your little sister. Oh, I brought her out to Rolling Loud one time. 
Damn. How crazy. And how do you even think to have her on the intro of the track? That was that was actually my that's mama a, idea. That's a banger. That's so good. You know, is that the hate no cap. Yeah. 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 What song is that again? Through the Storm. Hell Through the Storm, yeah. 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 Again. So that just kind of was like Through a random thing slaps. and it works out. Yeah, because everybody like I was just in Paris and somebody said it to me. Like somebody ran up on a, hey, big brother, it's me. <laughs> shit like that. So I, I didn't think it was going to be that memorable, but yeah, it'd be was, little yeah, moments you need like that in a project and an album. Because I saw that clip when you had her come out at Rolling Loud. Is mm -hmm. that something where like you get emotional and you're like, damn, this is crazy? Or is it just like kind of funny? It's just crazy looking <laughs> back on, on it. Because when I came- Can we, can we pull that up? I want to yeah. see that. Yeah. Yeah. When I did it, I wasn't thinking how, about How old was she at the time? His his probably, she was him. younger than Polo seven G. years old. Because that's not a fucking seven. crowd. Yeah. <laughs> My little she sister, she like a star. She wasn't nervous at all? No, she you, was you, star. How, how often shit, do you do that? Or is that the one and only time? I did it probably like three times. That's fucking dope. You were, so you were talking about uh, people come up to you and like saying stuff about <laughs> stuff that you've done. What's the weirdest interaction you've ever had with like a fan or someone coming up to you? Have you ever any, anything strange happen? As a full time roller Bro, skater, I, I would get tax paperwork, the I nines, the invoices, 1099s. Wow. It can be a headache. Wow. But with TurboTax, it was a sigh of relief. TurboTax makes it easy to get my taxes done, even if my situation changes. I think the ghost fucked my husband. I'm sorry, what? I can't really recall because so much should be happening. <laughs> so much should be happening. Yeah. I can't really recall a specific moment. <laughs> <laughs> she skip all. Oh yeah, she gave no fucks, eh? <laughs> I want that bitch you, just yelling. <laughs> you ever were you ever nervous doing any of this stuff? No, in the beginning, because I really just did my performances like That's fuck it. Real like you never were nervous. You were never but like the nervousness came when I dropped a song like Rap Star. And they was putting me on all the big stages. So it's like now people really critiquing me for my performances. Like, he don't have his in ears. His production ain't right. He ain't uh, doing this. He ain't really? doing that. And I'm like, damn. Oh, Back then, yeah. I'm doing a 15-minute set. So people not really thinking too much. But now I'm up there. I got to stand up for 45 minutes. I got to work the stage, have my breath control. Minutes. So then it came like people start feeling like I ain't the best performer, but it's like something I'm working on. I don't really get mad at it though, cause I know where it comes from. Part of the process. And I know for a fact, leading up to now, like I had stage fright. Like a lot of times I get up there, I was getting up there and feeling like I need to psych myself out. I probably need to be intoxicated before I do the show. Take a little shot. Yeah. Some, cause that's like I was Stein. getting them jitters. No, do you drink like or anything before shows? Yeah, sometimes. I but now gonna, I don't need it though, because now I've been like I've been working on my shit. I was gonna know. say though, one of the biggest, the like the craziest things, if you think about it, is like years ago, you would like have experience, but now you can put a like have a banger, right? Go viral hey, on TikTok, whatever. One shoe. I'm trying to think. I thought you go get that when you touch, when you touch like, like rolling loud or something. Like you go, you go get that one for you. So I ain't gonna lie to you. Or were you performing like um performing for uh the big jam or something in Chicago back in Chicago in Chicago though that shit gonna be it's like damn folks like I don't think it'll be scared like scared to be probably be like damn like you gonna be shocked like damn like folks aren't really here performing ten thousand fifteen thousand people shit like that bro. Ever and then you're right, just expected. Right, I got you. One there with you that first time. Big crowd probably be nervous too. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a buck. <laughs> to perform in front of the biggest crowd of people ever. Hey, I'm yeah, nervous. People, you know, you know what I'm so saying? Because you go so viral so, so quick, quick, and then it's like, Definitely fuck, I'm, I'm not used to this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about—the about. criticism because the mass, like the bigger, no the bigger way. audiences. But like, you're working on it. What what kind of things have you done to work on that part? Like, are you going like stage presence type stuff? Like, yeah, like classes, uh, classes to work on my stage presence, like breathing techniques. 
Not even that. Um, just like certain shit. eating a fucking gram of shrooms, bro. I'm just saying fuck it. <laughs> Dude, that's it. Honestly, that's <laughs> the fucking move. <laughs> that's it. I no, ain't never I go two ways. on shrooms, though. That's, that'll scare me. That's no, no, that could go two it, ways. I believe in you. No, that could go two ways. I'll probably try, no, 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 You could even a little tiny bit. Just take the edges off, you know? Be good. Yeah, but you could act like a complete crazy person up there, too, and then it could go really Not, well. But if you take a lot, yeah, if you take a lot. But if you take just a little bit, no, you take the edge off, you'll be nice. For sure. If I get to tripping on stage while I'm off the show, I'm going to walk off. Although <laughs> <laughs> yeah. G walks off, yeah. Hey, good luck. Are you, do you have any? Do you have any? Now we're going to start that bitch right there on chat, hey. We're going to finish this interview. Fucked up, how Brody died. Think so much, I want to crash. About all the nights I cried. Why they steady telling lies? Set up your.